Hello everyone, welcome to the introduction to university mathematics theories on differentiation. My name is Jing Yan. I'm a postgraduate researcher at School of Mathematical Sciences here at Queen Mary University of London. I hope you are well and enjoy the past few years in learning A-level mathematics. Now that you are watching this video, I believe you are excited to learn more in a university level. So in this video, I will first refresh you some concepts about differentiation that you've studied before and try to build a bridge to more advanced knowledge on differentiation as well as some possible and interesting real-life applications such as simple pendulum and black holes. Let's get started. The basic definition of differentiation is defined in the limit when the infinitesimal change in the depend independent variable x is approaching zero, and it represents the rate of change of the function f in the direction of x. And we can also regard it as the gradient of the tangent line along the curve defined by the function f of x. And you have learned how to differentiate simple functions such as power functions, exponentials and logarithms, trigonometric functions, and their compositions. It's important to realize that differentiation is the reverse operation of integration and uh, they together are called calculus. In your first year of university, the module calculus is very fundamental that almost every scientific area is built upon it. By the way, I have another video in the same series on integration that you may also want to have a look. Then. There are several techniques to solve differentiation, such as the chain rule, the product rule, the quotient rule, and the, the implicit differentiation, where um, you differentiate both sides of your equation. Finally, you may also have encountered the second order differential equations of this form. And by using the so-called characteristic equation, to solve such problem. If the right-hand side is absent, we call it homogeneous, otherwise it is called inhomogeneous. Up to now, all you have seen are ordinary differential equations, um, or ODE for short, which means that the function depends only on one independent variable, then the change uh, of the rate of change of f can only be in the direction of x. That's why we write uh, dy over dx. But usually in real life, modeling a function can depend on more than one variable. For example, the temperature in the air depends on three spatial dimensions and one time dimension. Then we can look at rate of changes in any of those directions. Um, the illustration here so this, uh, this, this is called the partial differential equations, or PDE in short. The illustration here, to the left, uh, is a function that you are familiar with, which depends on the x only. And then at each point of this curve, you get the gradient of the tangent being the derivative of f. Uh, to the right, this is a function of two variables, so f depends on both x and y. And in both directions, we can take the derivative with respect to that variable. So in, for example, in x direction, when we take the derivative with respect to x, we get the rate of change in x direction. Uh, and therefore, we write as partial f over partial x partial f over partial y, and uh, so on. In a similar way, you can generalize derivative to any dimension. You will learn more about this in the multivariable calculus module. 
The first application of differentiation I want to mention is in physics. The velocity, by definition, is the rate of change in displacement. Uh, so in the language of differentiation, v is a derivative of s with respect to time t, and acceleration as the rate of change in velocity, so a equals to the derivative of v with respect to t, or the second derivative of the displacement s. Knowing this, if we, uh, if we have a displacement time graph, we can get the velocity time and acceleration time graphs accordingly. For example, here we have um, the displacement as a cubic function in t, and then by differentiation we get its velocity as a quadratic equation and uh, the acceleration as a linear function and we can draw the corresponding graphs. Actually, applications of differentiation are everywhere. Here I just list the two of them. The first is the simple pendulum under gravity. So by Newton's second law, we have the force being the sine component of the gravity, as the, my drawing here. Uh, and the displacement s as the arc lens traveled through this angle theta. Then we deduce that the acceleration is the second derivative of uh, the displacement and uh, should uh, be equal to minus g sine theta. Therefore, we get uh, the equation of motion as a second order differential equation of theta of t then you may use some integration technique to solve the problem. The second exciting example I want to mention is the Einstein's general relativity. It's all actually full of differential equations, uh, in particular um, partial differential equations, since each field, like temperature I mentioned before, force, pressure, density, and so on, is a function of more than one variable. In the theory, it's a function of uh, four-dimensional spacetime, x, y, z, and t. And differential equations are used to model their changes. If you can find some tricks and techniques to solve or simplify those differential equations, you will get some special solutions, such as the ones describing a black hole. Well, I think there are already enough equations in my talk, so uh, I leave you to imagine what kind of equations are in describing a black hole. I think that's all. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Thank you very much for watching.